All right, so we have a replay here from me versus Golden Floof. We're just playing some games. We have the Green Bands versus Beast Men. Oh, the low leadership horde faction showdown. I am bringing an Azhag up in the sky on Skull Muncher. I thought he would be fast enough to escape any threats, and also the Beastmen don't have great flying core, so I can just keep my lord safe, stop from getting sniped by Torox or what have you. Spirit Leech is the only spell you really need versus the Beastmen. And yeah, yeah. Aside from that, I do have a giant. I thought it would be maybe cool to try it versus Torox or whatever. And just duel him for a while. Front line of goblins mixed in with orc boys, back line of four orc R boys, and then a side flank of De Def Creepas and Morgum's Energy Rodders, two more Spider Rider archers, and the Broken Tusk Mob, and more orc war boy biggins. So big flank overload over there. On the basement side for Golden Floof, we have quadruple gore herd, some Ungor Spearman herds, some centaurs with throwing axes mixed with basic centaurs and dogs. Three Ungor Raiders, double Manticore, a Brace Shaman of Beasts with Manticore Summon, and a Doombull. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting why the Doombull over uh, Torox. I mean, he's still pretty good. Especially with Dazed. He's a quite good combatant, but Torox is Torox. I mean, how could you? How could you go without? I'm Spirit Leeching down either the Doombull or the Mage, whoever's in range. Both are important. And we do have some orc boys trying to save the orc R boys. The orc R boys are relatively tanky in their own right, so it'll take a long time for the beastmen to get through them. Third Manticore has entered the field, and Azhag is going to try and dive the mage. This is probably a mistake, as there are multiple Manticores right next to him that could go deal with his ass. Meanwhile, the giant is clubbing the feral Manticore to death, and the green skin flank overload is coming in hot. Cool, cool. Archers lending a little bit of support that they are getting torn apart by centaurs and dogs currently. So both sides, we have kind of a big rotation game going on. Right? Where greenskins went boop, and beastmen went whoop. So, fun fun for everyone. Azhag is just trying to claw his way away from the Doombull and double manticores. I used some uh, skirmish cav and heavy cav to get in their way, keep them in line. And another spirit leech will push the Brace Shaman of Beasts closer and closer to death. Meanwhile, the Giant has clubbed a Manticore entirely to death, and that one wasn't a summon. That was a real, a real live Manticore, and it is now shattered. Giant is moving now towards the Brace Shaman of Beasts to finish him off before he gets off his second summon. We'll see if we are able to do that. Meanwhile, the Greenskin Flank Overload is going overall well. Routed a lot of archers and dogs and ungors and such, though it is stalling a little bit here next to the Doombull and the Manticores. Giant taking a decent amount of damage from the Centaur's throwing axe is sitting right next to him. He is not enjoying that whatsoever, even with his newfound missile resist. Though with the 100 leadership and the way leadership currently works in the game, Giants are more or less unbreakable, so they'll have to entirely kill him before they get anything done. I do start to pull back my heavy cav and skirmishers, trying to get him out of this fight with the Spearmen. Centaur's want to overcommit along with the Doom Bull, so I decided to take that fight. Sure, why not, as long as we're not standing in Spearmen anymore. Archers defending archers as these ones barely hold off the centigors. The others will rally and start firing at those centigors as well. Things are going okay. Greenskins are slightly up on the balance of power. And the giant is still trying to chase down that mage who slipped away from him while he fought archers. Meanwhile, more archers poke, poke, poke away. This could be a problem for me. I'm not winning against centigors as hard as I would like to. And then now I'm getting flanked by Chaos Warhounds. More centigors are throwing axes are coming over. Doombull is lowering my melee defense down to 25. So the Broken Tusk Mob will want to get out of there. Giant has almost gotten to the caster as the second Manticore summon comes out. I still am going to try and snipe the caster because I didn't realize that his only spells were the Manticore, and therefore he's out, and now he's a worthless unit. So the Giant's clubs him in the face, gets him to tear out. Giant's going to swing again. Bap! And that is mostly a dead Bray Shaman. Hooray, huzzah! We do have a full health Orc Boar Boy big and running around. It's not the Broken Toast Mob. The Broken Toast Mob is back here getting completely deleted at this point in the game. The balance of power is swinging a little bit back to even as the Greenskins have taken some pretty heavy losses in certain areas. Meanwhile, as Hag is trying to cycle charge a Manticore, as he allows his archers and Def Creepas to do a little bit of damage to it, that is in fact a real Manticore. The summon is over here with the Giant. And the Giant can't get away. It looks like he's just going to try and fight his way out with some Orc Boar Boy big in support. Just push off the Manticore and get it to desummon elsewhere. Greenskins have entered the chase off anything that routes phase. So we have Spider Riders doing that over there. 
Nothing in our backfield as dogs are going to swarm over my orc aura boys who just came back. Poor things. Just want to live. They just want to live. Giant mostly a little bit of the orc boar biggins, but mostly the giant is clubbing the crap out of this manticore. That is going to desummon in about seven seconds. Giant's currently T-posing a little bit. It's feeling all right about that. Last of the spirit leeches are going to go onto the doom bull. There's no other amazing targets. We just have to take him out and we will be fine. All right, we are down to one manticore in the doom bull. Summon Manticores are all gone. Shaman's gone. All that stuff. Gone, gone, gone. Plenty of Orc Boys. Wow, actually really healthy Orc Boys for this stage of the game. We're, fe we're feeling good. Feeling good. Orc Aura Boys is just gonna fight these very, very wounded dogs. Some Spider Riders even come in and help them out. Let's get things moving. I've reformed some lines in the backfield. Really trying to separate, uh, separate out my Archers from the Beastman Menace once and for all. A little bit of skirmishing in the backfield, just distracting some forces while I get all my shit together. We are trying to break these Ungor Spearman herds. My giant's trying to find a fight with another single entity. That's all he wants to do. He doesn't want to sit in front of these archers. He doesn't want to sit in Spearmen. He just wants to fight single entities all day long. Manticore comes a little close to Azhag, so I move him back, throw a quick Spirit Leech onto it. Trying to rampage it down into something, but the rampage slows it for some reason. It was charging, and then it rampaged, and then it finally lands. Lands in the middle of armor-piercing anti-large calf, though it is orc boar, big, orc boar boy biggins. So, you know, they're not super great. Anyway, Giant finally gets to enter the fight he wanted to. He's gonna fight the Doom Bull and the Manticore. Azhag is charging archers. Good, I was gonna say. Don't charge the Doom Bull. I just want to route off these archers to protect my precious little giant. He's running out of health, but not leadership. Oh, his leadership is just fine. Is just fine. Doom Bull sees me though. He sees his head creeping. He's gonna wa walk over, give him a piece of his mind. And Centigrade's throwing axes are hitting me right now. And more Centigrade's throwing axes are coming in. So his head could actually be in a bit of trouble. And I desperately click for him to leave. Leave, please. Another Spirit Leech onto the Doom Bull will poke, poke, poke him down. Bounce power goes further in my favor as the big back line we have secured is slowly moving forward to help out. Giant's still clubbing a Manticore that is now taking a little bit of arrow fire and Orc Boy poking. The Doom Bull is going to get recharged by my poor giant. No, giant. No. But his leadership's holding. He is fine. He's going to go down swinging. I mean, go down stumbling. Stumbling. Stumbling, of course. Throws out one last swing. His leadership is 25 while at 100 HP. And he eventually does die. The Manticore rampages yet again. Doom Bull is slowly taking arrow fire. Just trying to whittle him down. Another Spirit Leech. And Azhag's up in the sky, completely uncontested, so my lord cannot be sniped at this point. And there is no hope for the Beastman Menace. Borbo Biggins is just going to chase off the Centricors throwing axe to make sure they don't do anything cheeky like charge me or something. But the Archer's support, plus just raw damage on the Doom Bull, will get him to rout. Centricors rout, and soon we will have just a Manticore left. And Azhag is going to follow the Doom Bull and make sure he goes off the map quietly. It was GG. It was a giant diff. Not a large diff, but a, the diff of a giant. Almost 1,200 for Azhag. He definitely didn't pay for himself, but he was around. He was safe. He didn't get sniped, so eh. I still don't... I don't think he's a great pick right now, but he's situational. Giant did well. Borbo Biggins overall did fine, considering their price point. They're cheaper than you would think. Orc R Boys did great. Spider Riders... Skirmish Kevin General did, did well, if you combine them all. Orc Boys did great. Goblins did great. Huzzah. So my frontline and archers did excellently, plus my giant. Uh, my lord, not so much. Doom Bull did alright. He had a hard time finding a fight he wanted, because Azhag would fly away from him. Manticores, one did really, really well. One did not do anything. Centicores Throwing Axes did awesome. Basic Centicores did fine. Gore Herds struggled to get their value back a little bit. Dogs did well. Archers did fine. Our experiments did plenty. They did they did enough. It's a fun matchup. It's one of the funner matchups in the game, in my opinion. No undead, no chaos for once. Alright, goodbye. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.